regular floral jelly. It's right out in the open for everyone to see, and they've even put the recipe on the table. Hmm. Well, it's not like we can just take them away and go investigate them. That'd be stealing, right? We'd probably be disqualified and might even end up getting arrested by the Corps of Dirty. Oh, but we do have a camera. How about we take some pictures of the floral jelly and its recipe? At least then we'll have a record of all the important information. Done! We should ask an expert to analyze these photos, but we're kind of running out of time. Uh, let's go buy Layla's stuff first. You hold yourselves to pretty high standards, coming here so early to power up your fungi. No wonder you've made it this far. Hania, we need to talk. Your plan you told us about last time, it's way too extreme. Save your breath. If you think I'm wrong, start by defeating me. Then you can show me why exactly you think your opinion is correct. <sighs> she won't listen to us at all. How did things end up like this? Paimon thought we were getting along pretty well at first. All right, fine. Come on, Bongo Head. There's no time to mope. said that this is where we should be meeting the Almighty Merchant. Oh, the looks on your faces tell me you're searching for the Almighty Merchant, yes? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, how did you know? Wait, Dory? <sighs> so you're the Almighty Merchant Layla mentioned? Why, so surprised. Every vendor and customer in the Grand Bazaar knows that Lord Sangama Bay possesses the widest and most magical range of goods. Almighty, supreme, omnipotent, these and many more are my exclusive epithets. Any other merchant thinking of using one can forget it. Unless they're prepared to pay millions of mora in licensing fees. Uh, guess Paimon should have known. Yeah, 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 whatever. But back to business. I'm surprised that Layla sent you here on her behalf. I suppose she must be busy enjoying the Beast Tamer tournament, hmm? Sounds like you two get along pretty well. You know a lot about what's going on. <laughs> it has nothing to do with getting along. Layla previously bought a few things from me. They weren't the most valuable goods, but there was still a lot of mora for a student. So naturally, I now keep tabs on her activity, which is why I know that she's taking part in a very suspicious tournament. Mm-hmm. Something just didn't feel right. As it happens, I do have some goods I'm trying to get off my hands. They're a little hot for my liking, but so far no takers. They're also taking up space, so I think I'll just give them to you. This is just a bunch of spare parts and random notes! I'm told this is a device and some documents that the organizer attempted to destroy. But they were careless. Some people will scavenge through anything hoping for a chance to get rich. Sure enough, someone fished these out of the water and sent them to me. Now that Paimon takes a closer look, this looks similar to the recipe for floral jelly! And these parts look like they came from a wisdom orb! Maybe they were used during the experiment phase. Let's hold on to them for now and have Miku take a look later. Maybe she'll notice if there's anything fishy about them. Yeah, seems like our worries were well placed after all. But 
Hyman still wants to hang out with Bongo Head. I don't know what you two are talking about, but it sounds like these items might prove useful to you. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount. A 60 million mora. Thank you for your business. Huh? Why, you sneaky little... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no one gives a hoot about these items except for you and the Matra. We have other business to do today. Uh, consider this a little extra I'm throwing in to sweeten the deal. Show me Layla's list. I just need to know what she wants. Once I finish stocking up the goods, I'll send someone to deliver them to her so that you don't have to. That's a relief. Paimon thought all our efforts were gonna go down the drain. We couldn't afford that price even if we won the top prize. Hmm. Flour mixed with Matsutake powder, a vintage jam, Zaytun peach juice? <laughs> Really, the fungi diet? How did Layla even find that out? I can see you're serious about this. Good. Time to put my years of rigorous training to full use. Now, prepare to witness the power of my all cryo fungi team. You got? Couldn't melt a snowflake with that. Freeze the gusto, Frosto. My team has been defeated? Whew. That was a hard one battle. You and your buddies put up a good fight, Bongo Head. Traveler Paimon, I saw you guys made it to the next round. Congrats. Hey, Rayla. You're looking well today. And Twirly Whirly looks really happy. Guess you won your last round, too. It was a close call. I only won by a hair. Oh, I'm so glad I trained with Miss Yai beforehand. Also, the Almighty Merchant just sent someone to deliver the stuff I ordered. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go catch up on some rest with Twirly Whirly now. Hmm... My stamina's running low. Let's keep the volume down. Speaking of Miss Yai, where did Miku go? Mm, she left in a hurry with Soka. I guess they must have had something urgent to do. Also, I think they were escorted by a mercenary from the Corps of Thirty. When I returned to the arena, they were already quite a distance away. It didn't feel right to run after them and ask what they were up to. Could be. Miku has been putting a lot of time into the tournament lately, so Paimon wouldn't be surprised if she had a lot of chief editor work to catch up on. She also said that she wanted to look for inspiration while enjoying her vacation. The mercenary was probably just their tour guide. We shouldn't worry about it. The quarterfinals are coming up. To me, this is the most important round. Uh, I'm a little nervous, but let's all do our best. Yeah! <sighs> We've all done really well to come this far in the tournament. Keep it up, Layla! Right! We have to stay vigilant. Okay, let's take some photos of the items we got from Dory to add to the ones we took this morning. We'll show them all to Miko when we see her next. 
Ugh, it's you. The uncultured swine of the Neelute Pala Cup. Hey, you potty mouth! What's your problem? The way you dote on your fungi. It's pathetic! <laughs> what a joke! You make a mockery of the philosophy of the greatest beast tamer of all. The mighty Hania. Greatest beast tamer of all? <laughs> That's debatable. You keep telling yourself that. You were never going to come close to facing Hania. Time for you to go home. be happening I trained my fungi non-stop maybe I should have been harder on them <sighs> well we beat him but somehow Paimon isn't really in the mood to celebrate traveler Paimon I made it through You won against the unstoppable Hardy Two Blades, but you don't seem too happy about it. How come? It's just that oh, he was really mean. He said some weird things. I see what you mean. Yeah. Somehow, beast tamers like him make me feel a little... Uh, sad. Yeah, he clearly doesn't know anything about Hania. He's just making assumptions about what she's like, based on a vague impression, and even trying to copy her. I'm sure Hania would feel uneasy about it too if she knew. 
Also, he's so cruel to his shroom buddies when they could have been friends. Hmm. It's not just his loss either. It brings all the other contestants down. Right! You have the right mindset, Layla. If only everyone was like you, this whole tournament would feel a lot less gloomy. But it's only because I'm not aiming as high. I just want to be able to take Twirly Whirly back to live with me. That's all. Oh, looks like the next fight is you against me. Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. It doesn't matter who wins, this is just a little contest between friends. Alright, time to see who's the strongest fungi! Twirly Whirly or Bongo Head? Loser buys dinner for the winner! Whatever deal this is, you seem very happy about it. Did I miss anything big while I was gone? Miko! You're back! Finally! You stuck off without saying anything last time, so we didn't get to tell you about the evidence we... Um. <clears throat> Um, uh, evidently, we have some things to discuss with you. Yes, well, it's been quite the ordeal for me, too. I only entered this tournament for a bit of fun, but now I've ended up in the semi-finals. I've barely had any time at all to spend with Soka and the others gathering source material for the novel. I'm sure you two will have a wonderful time in your fun and friendly match. I, on the other hand, have to take mine a little more seriously. I'm up against that stubborn young lady, after all. Yeah, who knew it'd get to this point? Miss Yai has to face off against Hania. Look on the bright side! Maybe Miko will help us defeat Hania! But that means we won't get to show Hania the error of her ways ourselves! Eh, whatever, Paimon just doesn't want to see Miko lose. <laughs> 